for the introduction and thank you for having me tonight and thanks to everybody for joining me. Um, it's great, it's such a different way of working, but it's so great that we can obviously still connect via this uh, Zoom digital platform. So it's kind of the new way of doing events, which are working well for, for Rachel, which is amazing. So what I'm going to do today is talk about aging. I've never met anybody who's never been concerned about aging. So it's always a topic that's obviously really popular. Um, and today, really, what I'm going to do is share with you some just generic aging information so that you have an understanding of what you should be looking for in skincare and what is important because there are millions of products out there there's so much marketing so much publications about you should be doing this and you should be doing that and you should be using this and avoiding that and so i just really want to give you the science behind what you should be using for you to make more of an informed decision versus being bombarded by marketing information and make a decision through marketing versus science so what i'm going to do is share my screen with you um, and I will share a PowerPoint with you just to give you some visuals. The point of this is really to help to give you more information, but it's also a chance for you to ask me any questions around skin and I'll do my best to my ability to answer the questions that, that I can do. So just give me two secs so I can share my screen with you. And Rachel, if you can just give me a hands up if you can see it, just let me know. Can you see my screen? Yeah, okay, perfect. I'm just gonna minimize that. Great, so we're gonna start to talk about where the word Illumier comes from. People call, say it in different ways, Illumier, Illumier, um, doesn't really matter. But the fact is, is where the word came from and that was from the word illuminate. And illuminate is really to make clear or to make bright but it's also there to enlighten or share knowledge. So we all want clearer and brighter skin. And I'm going to do tonight is to help to share my knowledge with you for you to make more informed decision and enlighten you really with all of the information and signs behind our brand. Just a few things about what our brand is all about. So there's many medical grade skincare out there. There's many cosmetic products out there as we all know. The core focus with the Lumia is our focus to clean chemistry. So we ultimately want to be using products that are good for your skin, that you achieve the results that you should expect from a medical grade skin, but that it is safe to use. Because ultimately we want you to use this, this product for, for now and for always. And so it's really important to us that we have an approach to clean science. So we avoid things like sulfates, dyes, color, artificial fragrance and perfume in our products and that is because of the irritating effect that it has on the skin we also avoid chemical filters in our sunscreen and things like parabens because of the link that they have to hormonal disruption within the body for long time long-term use we also want to make sure that we're providing you with a product that is coming from a sustainable source and an ethical source so we're very transparent about our ingredients and where we source them from and making sure that we can deliver the cleanest products that are available out there to you Corrective formulas is what is core to Illumia MD. It's about clinically validated levels of active ingredients. So, so all of our formulations will have clinically validated results through trials and case studies to prove the efficacy that they have on the skin. There are certain ingredients that um, need to be at a certain percentage, a certain concentration, a certain pH to have an effect on the skin. And that is the difference between corrective skincare and medical grade versus cosmetic. So Illumia MD focus is clean chemistry and corrective percentages of medical grade ingredients, which allows us to target skin conditions. So acne, aging, pigmentation, um, and sensitivity, as well as maintaining elegant formulations of course, in clinic treatment, we offer a comprehensive chemical peel portfolio and hyper customized protocols that ultimately deliver, deliver the results that you so deserve. So we all, I'm sure at this stage of our lives that we know what happens in the skin through aging. So we start to see fine lines and wrinkles. You have an increasing drier skin, rough texture, potentially increased sensitivity, loss of tone, so less of elasticity, um, everything starts to go south. 
gravity takes its effect and tend to have more of a rougher texture than a smooth plump texture that you often see in a younger skin. And then also problems around hyperpigmentation. So the dark marks and patches that appear on the skin. So if we just look at the structure of the skin and the physiology behind the skin, I'm not gonna to go too much into detail, but just to give you a basic understanding of the skin. So this is the structure of the skin and we have different layers of the skin. So down here is what we call the dermis. And these little purple stripes are collagen and elastin fibers. And this is really what forms the bulk of your dermis and gives us our strength and elasticity of our skin. So collagen elastin, I'm sure you've heard of before, is so important to help to stimulate the production of collagen elastin, to plump out those lines and wrinkles, to give strength and elasticity to the skin. We then have the, derm, the epidermis, which is this full layer, and it comprises of different layers. At the basal layer here is where your skin cells are produced. And then what happens is they start to die and keratinize and move up to the surface and then are exfoliated off naturally. This process of cellular turnover from the basal layer to the top here in a young skin before the age of 25 takes roughly about 28 days to produce a cell cycle. The problem with aging skin is as you age, that cell turnover slows down. So anything over the age of 25, the, the process slows down. So if you're 30, generally it takes 30 days. If you're 40, 40 days, 50, 50 days, 60 days, 60, 60 days, etc. So the older you are, the slower cellular turnover you have, which means you have a collection of many dead layers of skin cells. You also don't have plumper, healthier skin cells at the surface. And what tends to happen is when the light hits the skin, because it's a rough texture with all the buildup of dead skin cells, the skin um, appears to be dull because the light that doesn't bounce off the skin anymore on a, and have that radiance, but has really a dulling effect. So exfoliation is really key to improve that cellular turnover. So there's many um, effects that we need to, many things we need to do for an aging skin. So we need to stimulate your collagen elastin production down here in the dermis. We need to increase cell turnover. We need to hydrate these cells so they plump and smooth. And we need to protect these cells from free radical damage, UV exposure. Often you find an aging skin, the skin is quite dry and quite dehydrated. And that's because the loss of water and the decrease of production of oil in the skin um, causes that effect on the skin. So if we look at our exfoliation, exfoliating options in our retail collection, we have four different ones. Um, and it really comes down to your preference and also to how many layers of dead skin cells you have and your barrier function of your skin. So just to go through them briefly, the bright and clear solution is a daily solution that you would apply to your skin after cleansing on dry cotton wool and wipe over the skin. This people think is a toner. It goes on like a toner, but it's ever, anything but that. It is a combination of lactic acid and a natural vitamin C from the kakadu plant that really creates a brightening effect and gently exfoliates the skin to lift off those dead skin cells, which will enhance the penetration of whatever you put on afterwards. This is really one of my favorite products because it gives you instant gratification. Once you wipe over the skin, you can actually see the dead skin cells as well as if you have actually washed, washed your skin properly or not, because often you see residue of makeup on the cotton pad. Then we have the enzymatic peel. This has been really popular during lockdown where you're unable to come to the clinic for your peels. This is a home peel that you can do yourself at home once a week. You apply it like a mask after, you would cl after you've cleansed your skin. Leave it on the skin for anything from five to seven minutes, wash it off, and you have ultimately given yourself a home peel. It's a combination of enzymes from papaya and from bromelain, which is from pineapples, as well as 10% lactic acid. The reason why we use lactic acid is because it has an exfoliating action on the skin, but it also has a very hydrating effect to the skin. So it really does give you that 
glow. You can do this treatment once a week at home. I often use it if I, back in the day when you used to be able to go out before lockdown, if I was going out for dinner or had a special occasion, I would give myself a quick peel before I am um, going out for that evening. The AHA Renewal Serum is a combination of lactic acid as well as sodium hyaluronate, or you more commonly known as hyaluronic acid. So this is a hydrating serum, but it's also a leave on exfoliator. So if you find that you find these two products a little bit um, of a chore to do, you can literally apply this two or three times a week on the skin at night, and it's your leave on exfoliator that's really gonna hydrate the skin and lift off those dead skin cells to encourage new skin cells to the surface. And then we've got a Lotus Scrub, which is a granular exfoliator, very gentle polish for the skin that really can be used for most skin types. So the essential ingredients, I always talk about the essential ingredients when you're talking about anti-aging. So we know it's important to stimulate collagen and elastin production. We know it's important to protect those cells from free radical damage. And we also now understand that it's important to increase cellular turnover because that process slows down with aging. So a few key ingredients that we always focus on. One is an ingredient called Matrixelsin 6, which is a peptide. And the peptide has the ability to stimulate the cell that produces collagen and elastin production. It also has the ability to produce, to stimulate the skin to produce its own natural hyaluronic acid, which is the hydrating effect that you have within the skin. I'm sure you've all heard of hyaluronic acid before. Um, that's really what you have when you have fillers. Um, it's obviously a very um, prominent ingredient that you find in skincare. We use different types of hyaluronic acid to allow deeper penetration of that into the skin. Um, but this product specifically is gonna to help to stimulate your own natural hyaluronic acid. So help with your hydration, help with the constituents of the skin, as well as stimulating your collagen elastin production to help to plump out those lines and wrinkles and help with the elasticity of the skin. The product that you're going to find that has Matrixelsin 6 in is your ultimate boost. This product is a combination of your sodium hyaluronate and your ult and your Matrixelsin 6. So it is a key ingredient, key product for anybody. Anybody and everybody can use this product. You can use it twice a day. And it is our top selling serum. It's absolutely one of my favorites. So we say anybody who has skin can use Ultimate Boost Serum. Simple as that. These are just some trials that were shown you um, with the use of Matrixelsin 6 over a two month period. So this ingredient is in our eye products. Um, and so you can see the vast improvement after a two month period with the lines around the crow's feet. By using Matrixelsin 6, you can see the improvements of the collagen elastin production and the overall smoothness of this area. And I always say, if you can combine this with toxin, so Botox, you would have the best result you could possibly achieve. Another ingredient, I'm sure you've all heard of vitamin C in skincare. The most important takeaway point around vitamin C is that there are many different vitamin C products on the market. You can have something like orange extract. There are other vitamin C products. The most important point is, is that vitamin C has to be in the molecular structure called allascorbic acid. Allascorbic acid is the form of vitamin C that the skin recognizes and can utilize in a cellular level. If you apply orange extract into, onto the skin, it does not perform in the same way that allascorbic acid does. So vitamin C we need to use because again, it stimulates collagen and elastin production. It stimulates the production of a hyaluronic acid again, and it's anti-inflammatory as well as it's an antioxidant. So when I said to you that you need to protect your cells, antioxidants like vitamin C, like vitamin A, like green tea will help to protect those cells from oxidation. So we have the Everactive CNE plus peptide, which is 15% allascorbic acid. We also have vitamin E, which helps to boost the effect of vitamin C, very, very effective antioxidants, also very moisturizing. And again, we've got that matrixyl synthesis within this formulation. This is probably our second top selling product. It's, it's won aesthetic awards. 
um, and it's won press rewards as well as being really innovative product and has fantastic results. So we're talking about matrixyl syn6 and alascorbic acid as really two key ingredients to stimulate that collagen and elastin production. Now, the short word of retinols. Sorry. Retinols we have in different strengths. And retinol has the ability to stimulate your, stimulate your cellular turnover as well as collagen and elastin production. So I'm just going to go back to that. So retinol comes in three different strengths and retinol penetrates into the lower levels of the skin and pushes those skin cells up and off. It's one of the most researched ingredients when it comes to anti-aging and is clinically proven to improve the um, effect of aging within the skin. So these are some really great results that you can see with Illumia MD. So this patient has had um, some of our glow peel treatments as well as using home care. And you can see the vast improvement on her skin. The pigmentation has lightened, the texture is much smoother, far more hydrated. And she's got that radiance to her skin because the light is bouncing off her skin versus in the first picture that her skin appears much more dull. This again is another picture showing you around the crow's feet with using that matrixyl syn6 and the improvement on the lines and wrinkles. So sun signs. Now it's absolutely freezing outside and you kind of think, why would I ever have to use sun protection when it's so cold on a day like today? And it is because 90% of your external aging is as a result of sun exposure. So I'm going to repeat that. 90% of external aging is a result of sun exposure. So if you are not using a sun protection, but spending your money on treatments to anti-aging treatments, so whether that's peeling, microneedling, radio frequency, injectables, what else is there, um, KC, et cetera, it's so important that you use sun protection. You almost are wasting your money if you are going for anti-aging treatments and buying anti-aging products if you're not using a sunscreen because UV breaks down collagen and elastin and all of the anti-aging treatments that I've listed as well as the products I've just spoken to you about, the effect and they have on the skin is the stimulation of collagen and elastin and that's the very thing that UV breaks down. So this again is a little structure of the skin over here. And within the, the sun rays, you have two different types of rays. You have UVA and UVB. So UVB is what um, you see during the summer or you feel in the summer where it's much hotter and where it causes burning and redness on the skin. UVA is what is present all year round. It doesn't fluctuate. UVA um, exposure here in the UK or Australia or in South Africa is exactly the same. It doesn't fluctuate between... Um, seasons, it doesn't fluctuate between climates or countries. UVB is what really fluctuates. We know that you get more sunburned in places like Australia than you would in England. So the UVA, because of the wavelength, it penetrates through the epidermis into the dermis and breaks down the collagen and elastin production. UVB penetrates through the epidermis only to the basal layer where you have that little cell called a melanocyte and that basically gets stimulated to produce color to protect the cells. And so therefore, when you are exposed to UVB, you get a bit of tan or a bit of redness, whereas UVA penetrates right through into the dermis and breaks down your collagen and elastin production. This is why we say that it's so important to use SPF through winter and through summer because your UVA ray is there. If there is light, there is damage. It has the ability to penetrate through glass as well. So even if you are inside and you think, I don't need to use an SPF, if you do have natural light penetrating through the window, you do need to use an SPF. At Illumia MD, we only use physical filters. So we use zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, A, because they um, protect you against UVA and UVB, whereas other chemical-based sunscreens may only stop you from burning, but will have no action on the UVA. Majority of your average retail sunscreens will be a combination of chemical filters. So they might be 
um, oxynoxate and avobenzone. So there will be a five-star rating of boots because they protect against skin cancer, protection against UVA and UVB, and that's absolutely right. However, chemical filters applied to the skin on a daily basis long-term have a link to endocrine disruption or hormonal disruption. Case studies have shown evidence of these chemicals in breast milk, breast tissue, um, blood, urine, etc. So they do penetrate systemically and have a link to endocrine disruption, which we absolutely with the Lumia, focusing on clean signs we want to avoid. We only use physical filters that sit on the surface of the skin. They don't have the ability to penetrate into the skin and they basically bounce the light off the skin. Um, because we have formulated them with other ingredients, they are cosmetically elegant and feel great on the skin. We ultimately are selling us the SPF as your day moisturizer and you use your other serums underneath. So we have a few different ones. So we have Moisture Matte, um, and this is a matte finish. It's got different colors. It is your day moisturizer. It doubles up as a lightweight foundation. So it's extremely popular. Now, the reason why I have this picture over here is because in places like Hawaii and the Great Barrier Reef, it is illegal to use a chemical filter when you are swimming in places like that because the effect that it has on the coral in the sea, it bleaches the coral. And so you're only able to use physical filters like mineral sunscreens in those places because it doesn't have an effect on coral. So if it's having an effect on the coral by bleaching it, you can imagine what it's doing systemically. Then we have um, Clear Shield. So Clear Shield is really a lightweight SPF. It's great for an oily skin, an acneic skin. Anybody can use it. My kids love it. Men tend to prefer Clear Shield because obviously there's no color in it and it's very lightweight. It doesn't leave the skin ashy at all. And will ultimately will be your day moisturizer for all skin types. And then we have sheer hydration. So for anybody that's a little bit dry, um, sheer hydration really hydrates the skin, has um, nourishing elements in it, moisturizes with vitamin E, and then full sun protection against UVA and UVB. We have two different ones. One has got no color at all. It's called untinted. And the other one is called versatile tint, which gives you just a little bit of a color wash. It's almost like a tinted moisturizer. One of my real favorite products in the winter. I tend to use moisture mats in the summer because I'm a little bit oilier and I like the fact that it doubles up as a foundation. And then the winter when I feel I'm a bit more dehydrated and dry from being inside in the heating, I really like sheer hydration because it gives me that dewy glow. The reason why I stuck Illuminance AGE in here is because as I said to you, 90% of your aging is from sun protection. The next, from the sun, the next biggest effect on aging is pollution. Um, so pollution enters the follicle and attacks the skin cells within the substance, um, skin. So it will attack like the fibroblasts, which will affect your production of collagen elastin. It'll attack your melanocyte, which will affect pigmentation. So Luminance AGE has the ability to create a, like a spider web over the skin and it traps pollution up to 83% from entering into the follicle. So anybody that is living or working in a city, if they really want to cherry on the top with anti-aging, Illuminance AG is it. So if you can think as a recap, your matrixyl sin 6 and your vitamin C is going to stimulate your collagen elastin production. Your retinol is also going to stimulate collagen elastin production of increased cellular turnover. The Illuminance AGE is going to protect that collagen elastin production from free radical damage, as well as an, an internal um, aging effect called glycation. So it really is your key product if you want a full coverage of anti-aging ingredients. So just a complete solution um, for aging. You've got your cleanser, whichever is relevant to your skin condition, your bright and clear solution, which is your daily exfoliator, Everactive CNE, Ultimate Boost, Retinol, and your SPF. Of course, you can add in moisturizers and Illuminance AG into this, but this is a really good all round anti aging routine. Of course, in clinic treatment would be professional treatments, would be exfoliation. Um, so, chemical peels are really there to improve the tone and texture of the skin. 
How it works, a chemical peel, all it does is it dissolves the bonds between these dead skin cells by using different um, acids. And then the skin cells just exfoliate off and then it stimulates the production of newer skin cells that push to the surface. There's obviously many different peels out there. We do, there's light depth peels, medium and deep depth peels, which are done in a surgical setting. We offer to light to medium depth peeling. Um, it improves penetration of your home care products and really, again, also stimulates that collagen and elastin production. Just to give you a um, worst case scenario, what your skin may look like after a peel, this is the dryness and shedding that you may experience. But we do also offer light depth peels that won't cause that effect, just takes a little bit longer to achieve results. I always like to show this picture because some people are quite scared of the word chemical peel. And there's a lot of negative connotations around that. I think um, in the movie Sex in the City, where Samantha came out bright red, a lot of people think that that's what a chemical pill will do to your skin, but it's absolutely not the case. Definitely not these days anyway. Um, science has moved on from having to do that to the skin. We can get great results without going to those extremes. Just a case study of a patient that has had a course of glow peels along with home care. And you can see the overall improvements of the tone, the texture, the radiance and her hyperpigmentation. Just another one again on aging and hyperpigmentation. This is after 50 days of having home care and in clinic treatment. So all of our products are obviously available through Rachel um, from her clinic, but she can also offer you a skin consultation and sign you up to our online platform where she would recommend prescriptive prescription products to you. So it's about devising a bespoke recommendation based on your concerns, based on your budget and really hyper customized to yourself. And then what we do is Rachel will, will then create a digital recommendation of the products. And then you can simply buy them from her clinic or purchase them, them online through the online e-commerce platform. This is Rachel has the ability to be uh, able to see what you purchase and can keep tabs on because working with skincare, it is also a journey. So it's about tweaking your recommendation as time goes on, as seasonal skin changes as well, you may tweak. And also we have different strengths of products. So you might start off slow and then being able to use act for higher active ingredients further along the line. Thank you so much. I am open for questions. If anybody wants to ask me anything, please just um, raise your hand or just take yourself off mute and fire away if there is anything. Paula, I don't have a direct question, but I would love, oh, sorry, Jan. That's no, right, you go um, ahead. Paula, I really want a copy of that picture with the peel on it, with the chin peel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because exactly what you said people do think that they are going to come as soon as you mentioned the word peel they like it's like they go oh, no yeah so I'd love that picture to actually put in a frame <laughs> <laughs> sure I'm sure we can get it to you. yeah you're absolutely right there's so much negative connotation around that I think that that clip from sex in the city with Samantha coming out bright red did so much damage for our industry and um, there are peels that are like that they're done in a surgical setting it would be a once-off and it'll be a three or four month healing process the idea behind having a chemical peel with Rachel is the course of treatments you might be a little bit pink and sensitive and a bit of shedding but it's about a continuation of treatment so that you're able still to go, you know, go to work. It's not about taking time off, you know, out of your diary to have treatments like that. Jan, did you want to ask me something? I did. I just, I, I get really, really dry skin and I get very confused about what I can use. And um, my area of concern is my forehead. Literally, that's just incredibly dry. It doesn't matter how much water I um, drinking and it's also got some fine lines which um, I know you're going to say I can't see them but I can see them <laughs> yeah, exactly we're also critical of our own skin so um, exactly so there's two things that people get a little bit confused about is dry skin and dehydrated skin so dry skin skin means that your skin is lacking oil and you would tend to get shedding of the skin so you know you'd see sort of the rough texture to the skin 
or your skin may be dehydrated and lacking water. So you could have both, could be dry and dehydrated. The most important thing is you probably want to use a product like Ultimate Boost because that will add hydration to your skin. It will also stimulate your cells to produce its own natural hyaluronic acid within the skin. And then use a good moisturizer that is really sealing the skin. I always think of a moisturizer like a lid on a boiling pot. If you don't put the moisturizer, the moisturizer on like the lid on top of the pot, all of that hydration within your skin that's naturally occurring is just really going to bubble away. So moisturizer is really important. Drinking water, of course, is important. But if you don't have that barrier function of the skin, the skin water just evaporates constantly. So a good moisturizer and even looking at your diet in terms of omega threes and omega sixes, because that helps to repair the, the cellular wall that will retain that moisture. So sodium hyaluronate is what you need. Matrixyl sin six is the ingredient that you need to stimulate your own natural hyaluronic acid production within your skin but a good moisturizer, nothing that's too heavy. Like you don't want to use like a barrier thick cream. You really want that your skin to respond to the ingredients to produce its own natural oils and hydration. And a bit of exfoliation because that will lift that sort of dead skin cells that are collecting on the surface of the skin. Okay, I'm, gen I'm generally quite good about my skincare routine. So um... I shall bear all of that in mind. Yeah, chat, chat to Rachel and maybe she can just give you a real thorough consultation and give you all of the different options that, you know, that you could use. Yeah, Jan, just ping me a message. Um, you've got my details, obviously, and um, we can fix it up and I'll have a proper look close up um, and give you some recommendations. Yeah, I just, it's just... I think it's really important that every so often you just have like a consultation, make sure that you've got what it, you need for your skin. I mean, I'm going to be 55 next year. So I Absolutely. kind of And you know what? The, your skin, yeah, your skin changes. So seasonal skin changes. If you're undergoing stress, that will affect your skin. Um, and as we sort of as the years go by, you need to tweak your routine. So what you did two or three years ago may not be appropriate to now. So we recommend at Illumia that you always have a thorough consultation. If you are new to Illumia, you should have a consultation and, and then sort of use the products and then have another consultation a few weeks later or just to check in to see how things are going. And then really have like a quarterly skin review because you need to tweak things as time goes by. Um, as your skin acclimatizes to products, you might want to sort of step up the retinol or add an exfoliation. And when you're going through from winter to summer, you may want to change a moisturizer. So it's 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 not it's it's something that doesn't stand still. It should constantly change. Mm. Anyone you. else? Any questions? Teresa. Um, get a little confused between different what's it what's a peptide versus a serum i know they're different things but i I'm yeah, really clear on, on the difference. So a peptide is one of the ingredients that are within the formulation. So a peptide is a chain of amino acids or a chain of proteins that are created within a laboratory. And they are like cell messengers, basically. So you have different peptides that are synthetically created within a laboratory and they can talk to the cells and have different, make the cells do different things. So the hyaluron, the, so the matrixyl sin 6 is the peptide that we use. So that's like the ingredient that is within the serum. So matrixyl sin 6 is the ingredient and ultimate boost is the serum. So the actual product. Um, and serums tend to work deeper in the skin where your moisturizer works more superficially in the upper layers of the skin. So, um, so with your vitamins, do you use them both? You know, you were saying about they got like a little pipette thing. Do, yeah. Or are they different things for different purposes? Or so you can use both. Um, it all comes down to your preference and your budget. So you, in your Ultimate Boost and in your Everactive CNE, you have Matrixyl Sin 6 as the sort of common ingredient. But in the Ultimate Boost, it's more of a hydrating serum that has an anti-aging effect. Whereas your Everactive CNE has your Matrixyl Sin 6, but then your Allascorbic Acid with your Vitamin C. I use both. Um, I use the Everactive CNE during the day with the Ultimate Boost on top. 
with IntelliBright to treat my pigmentation because I'm from South Africa. So I absolutely scorched my skin growing up. And then my SPF. And then at night I use my retinol. I love Ultimate Boost. I probably overuse it because it's just, I absolutely love it. It makes your skin really um, plump out and have that radiance. So I use retinol at night, Ultimate Boost. And then sometimes I use the moisturizer, like in winter, I definitely use a moisturizer. But then sometimes in summer with layering product, I sometimes I don't feel I need it. It just depends as well on what mood I'm in, how good I feel I'm going to be. Um, <laughs> I had a skin contour consultation with Rachel and she did um, ultimate boost for me. So I'm using that at the moment, which is lovely. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so I've got that and I've got one of the one of the moisturizers as well. I think the sheer hydration because yeah. it's about in the winter, my skin gets really dry. I think being inside as well all the time. Really yeah, because cool. we're around the, the heating all the time, which is really sucking all that moisture out of the skin. So if you are concerned with aging, vitamin C should be used during the day and retinol at night. That's just the rule. Okay, thanks. I, I like that simple, <laughs> simple <laughs> line. Thanks. Okay. Anyone else? Great. Well, thank you so much, ladies. The point of today is obviously to just give you as much information as I can for you to pick my brain and really then to hand you back to Rachel, who is the specialist. She's obviously years and years of experience. She's done all of our training. And if you're not a client of hers or you haven't connected with her for a while, um, you know, book in for a seasonal skin change review. It's really important that you don't stick on the same thing because your skin doesn't stay the same. It changes as time goes by. So thanks, Rachel. Thanks for having me again. Thank you, Paula. That was amazing. As Thank always. you, Paula. Pleasure. Lovely to see you all. And I'll get that picture to you, Sasha. <laughs> cool. Thank have you. a good evening, everyone.